Hey everybody, this is your girl Kiki, aka Kiki Banks. We're back here in the kitchen and chefs in the hood. And today we're gonna whip up some enchiladas for you. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our special enchiladas today. So this is enchiladas traditional, kind of mixed up a little more like kind of black skin flavor, black and Mexican kind of flavor. So we're gonna go over our little ingredients here. So we have ground turkey today. Um, you can use ground chicken, ground beef. Usually a ground meat um, works a lot better for traditional enchiladas, but today we chose ground turkey. We have our Fiesta Blend cheese. Really, you can use any cheese you want, but if you're gonna make traditional enchiladas, I would go with a Mexican Spanish blend. And you can find that at any traditional grocery store. I am the coupon queen, so Walmart on the rollback special is my specialty. So we have a... Uh, Asiago cheese, we have Monterey Jack, it's mixed with cheddar, but again, just use what you like. We have our ripe fresh black olives. We have fresh garlic chopped, green onion. I chose to get some El Paso red enchilada sauce. I always use red enchilada sauce. Um, again, if you like the green sauce, that's fine. It does not have to be El Paso, you can use any brand that you want. Um, I would still go ahead and suggest to get a big can if you want to make a big, 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 big pan of enchiladas. Our season is real basic today. Again, outside of the fresh garlic, we have salt, we have pepper, we're going to put a little spice in it. So I chose to get Texas Pete, but again, you can use any kind of hot sauce. If you want to use like maybe any spicy chilies or anything, go ahead and add that as well. And then we went ahead and get some Worcestershire sauce. We're going to ahead and spice it up and kick a little bit up with the meat. So as we season our meat, it's no special particular order that you have to go in to put your seasoning in. Again, you're going to mix it up and ground it anyways. So we're just using a fresh black pepper. Again, if you don't want black peppercorn, you can go ahead and get traditional powder pepper. And again, any grocery store, Walmart, you're fine to get that with. So I like my food full of flavor, so I like to season heavy, but it's not overly or too much. Salt, you know, we try to be healthy black people out there, so you know, we don't wanna be overly salt with high cholesterol. So just a little bit of salt. We're gonna get our garlic in there. We're gonna go ahead and get some of this hot sauce. And again, any kind of hot sauce that you like, if you just wanna make it spicy, you don't even have to use hot sauce. It's just up to you. So we get a little bit of hot sauce. Now we got our Worcester sauce. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you know the steak sauce. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix it up. Our next step to making our enchiladas, we're gonna go ahead after we mixed all our seasoning, we got our meat together. We're gonna go ahead and just put it inside of our skillet. You can put it on a medium temperature if you like. You know, if you're for time purposes, you can turn it up a little bit hotter. Um, I personally don't use oil in my meat because there's no need. It has all the nutrients and juices from it. But what I do do is add a little bit of water to it. I like to use the same bowl where I mix my meat because it still gets some of the flavor that's in there. And it'll still cook just as fast. All the ingredients will still be in there and it'll still be flavorful. Just make sure that you watch it while it cooks. So that way the water doesn't cook all the way down. With all the ingredients that I mentioned that we use, the fresh garlic, the salt, the pepper, the hot sauce, the Worcestershire sauce. Um, also another good thing to use if you're just not big on seasonings at all, you can go to the store and get a local package of just taco seasoning or chili seasoning, anything that would go perfect with a ground meat. Just depends on what you taste, what it's like. It's usually a dollar or less and then that'll take care of all the seasoning that you need, just depending on what your palate likes. Okay, y'all, so we're back here with Chefs in the Hood. I'm sorry, it's a little mess. That's how we get down in a little hood kitchen here. However, so our meat's only really been cooking for about less than five minutes, and it's practically almost done. So it's rounded up really fine. We're going to let it simmer, and then we're going to go ahead and start our process for the enchiladas. And we're making casserole style. Normally, if you go to a traditional Mexican restaurant, it's not going to be in a casserole style. It's going to be actually a rolled tortilla. But again, this is Chef in the Hood. Like I said, it's a little black skin style, you know, black and Mexican. So we're going to be making casserole style. So tortillas we're going to be using today is the La Banderita tortillas. And they're corn. And again, you can get these at any local store. Again, 
I'm a rollback special kind of girl, coupon queen over here. So Walmart is my normal go-to. These came packaged. Normally you'll see them in a plastic bag, but just get a little sneak peek of what we working with today. And yeah, we about to go ahead and layer this casserole. Hey, this is Kiki again. And so now we're gonna finish up our enchilada process. So it starts with basically layering our casserole. So we're gonna take a few of our corn tortillas. And again, when it comes to the tortillas, you don't have to open them straight out the package and put it in to the pan. You can also warm them up if you want to. Some people like to fry them a little bit. Use a little oil, corn oil, vegetable oil, put it in the pan and fry it if they want to. But again, it's going in the oven. So you can preheat it if you want to. It's not really necessary because our oven is gonna take care of the job. But again, it's all about what you like. So again, like I said, this is our little black and Mexican, our little black skin process. So we start by layering. So depending on how big your pan is, it depends on how much you're gonna layer it. And it doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect cut, perfect ways because the pan has its own shape. And again, everything is gonna fuse together. So I started by layering the tortillas. And then like I said, we have our sauce. Um, and again, I'm a person, we can just go ahead and dump it. It doesn't make sense to go ahead and transfer to another bowl, use a spoon, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and just start layering it. This is how we get down on Chefs in the Hood, so we don't have to be all super fancy. So we got our sauce. Then, as you can see, our meat is finished. So what we do is that we go ahead and we start putting our meat on. And you just kinda just sprinkle it all around. Nothing has to be perfect. We just get in our layers. We just get the meat, we put it on here. Make sure everything is saucy. All right, so now we got our first layer on and then that's when we go ahead and we put our little olives in here. And again, you just sprinkle everything on. Nothing has to be perfect. You just kind of want to evenly distribute it. We get our green onions, we put them on. And again, it's really no order because again, the oven's gonna fuse and melt everything. Then we go ahead and we get our cheese. You can be as light, as heavy as you want with all of the ingredients. It's totally up to you. It's building your own. Okay, so now we're gonna build our second layer. So let me explain to you why dishes like these are things that I like to do. I'm a Cali girl at heart, born and raised in California, South Central, Inglewood all day. So being from California, there's always gonna be a Mexican, Hispanic type of flair that's always gonna come on the West Coast. These are meals that are inexpensive, they're family style, they're very filling, they go a long way. You know, black and brown people, we know how to make something out of nothing. These meals are making, you know, a dollar out of 15 cents. So if something is good, it's hearty, it's family time, these are the type of things that you grow up on, you make together, you learn from Big Mama, Grandmama, Abuelita, and they show you in. This is what we do here on Chefs in the Hood. Different type of flair. So again, we're building our second layer. And like I said, like the first time I started with the sauce, this time I put the meat on top. It won't make a difference because we are doing the same thing. So we just pouring it on. We layer, we layer, we layer. So as our sauce gets thickened up, we go back. We just add, here come the olives. We got more green onions. And again, we got our cheese. We wanna save our green onions and our olives for our top layer. Again, you're getting the basics of the recipe, casserole style. Your own chef, whether you chef's in the hood or not. So again, you want two or three cans, you like your stuff real saucy, that's what you do. You gonna thug it out. Then we are gonna preheat our oven. So we got everything covered over here. We're gonna go ahead and fluff it out. Just make sure our stuff is distributed. And we about set to go. So I have mine set on 400. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. And look, we got our thugs out enchiladas. So take a look. 
We got some color on it. It's melted. It's fused together. So we about to cut this open and see what we working with. All right. So it looks like our casserole enchiladas are a success. So let's see. Oh, got a little bit of juice. See how that comes together? You're gonna plate that bad boy. Now remember, this chef's in the hood, so it ain't gonna be picture perfect, but you get the idea. Okay, so we got our thugs out enchiladas already plated. So again, if you want it to bake in the oven longer, if you want to fuse it together a little bit more, you can. It's saucy, it's flavorful, so I'm sure everybody's gonna love it. So let's, we're gonna go ahead and taste these thugged out enchiladas we made. Oh yeah, that's good right there. All right, so here you have it. Again, it's your girl Kiki here at Chefs in the Hood. Like it, subscribe, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Peace out.